Well, before the quiz, I promised that we would have another really neat product from the folks at Dorman, and this is something that takes care of a whole bunch of vehicles out there that are constantly having problems with airbag sensor lights going off. Kind of like yours that I've heard about, Tom. I've got this exact problem at home on 05 Denali, so I'm gonna get started taking this thing apart because I wanna know how to fix them when I get home. Oh yeah, because that light going off, Dimitri, can be really annoying and, and kind of unnerving because when, when you see that. Absolutely. Tell us about what this is and how it's gonna take care of our problem. Absolutely, so the front impact sensor is one of the sensors for the safety restraint management system. This sensor inputs information to the computer that makes the decision during a collision if airbag deployment needs to happen. One of the big failure rates on these, they're, they're mounted right behind the actual bumper. They're exposed to all the elements, so salt, rust, debris. All of those elements get all over this sensor and get built up inside of the mounting hole. That actually causes corrosion and the rust actually expands and it causes the sensor to crack. Wow. Throws the light on. And especially if you live in some place, you know, where it's, it's a lot of salt. A lot of salt and things like that. So there are actually two that are up front? Yeah, that is correct. Typically there is a right and a left front impact sensor on the front of the uh, of the Chevy vehicle. All right, looks like you're ready for one of these. Got the splash guard off. Splash guard off. You can see them. Let's pop them out. There you go. I've got the splash guard out of the way now, and you can clearly see the two sensors right here underneath the front end. It's pretty simple. You take a little screwdriver. They've got a double safety latch on these, so you just take them, pop out the first one. Got the orange thing out of the way. Reach up, undo the other latch, pull the harness out. Now all we got to do is unbolt the sensor. That was simple enough. There's the bad one. Now, grab a new one, and in it goes. There's a, uh, a recommended torque rating on these, so just check your owner's manual and make sure you get that correct. Other than that, this is pretty, uh, pretty easy. All right, finish torquing it. All that's left to do, plug in the wiring harness. That easy, put in the safety lock. Done. I'm gonna install the splash guard, and this project's over. So, how you coming along there? That was easy, Dimitri, that was simple. Kathy, I wanna get out of here and go home and do my own. Pretty impressed, Tommy, Tommy's gonna go home and do some work, and you know what? We'll have a lot more projects for you coming up next week on Performance TV. Yeah, so we're pretty good, quick about that.